Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here I am with my Issy Sports, which, as you can see, I was working on and developing and decorating when I was in that whole Lemonade Man phase, when this was going to be my psychotic alter ego. I haven't used that as much as I thought I was going to use it, but, you know, not everything can take off like the CEO in pajamas look here as... <laughs> As it has done here. In case you're wondering, uh, the whole pajama thing came out because back when Rockstar introduced CEO offices, they introduced a whole lot of pajamas. Like, just pajamas every day or every other week or something like that. Fresh pajamas you could get. And I'm like, why are they doing all this pajama stuff with you? It must be because, must be because CEOs wear pajamas. And so that's kind of what happened there but i did they did keep a couple of the really i have a few lemonade vehicles especially over again in the uh, arena war area but this was one of the ones that kind of got the lemonade look now i think i was watching one of Thu adam's uh, videos there some some transformers review stuff might have been his cliff jumper review and i noticed something really interesting you need to take a look at 2006 Bumblebee, which, you know, I think it's 2006 Transformers Classics, Universe something, blah, 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 Bumblebee. And uh, you may notice something. Here, take a look. Gee, that kind of looks familiar. You know, if you just look at, not, not a perfect replica, but I mean, still, I would say that's, that's somewhat interesting somewhat familiar looking and so I went out and I bought the plastic that goes along with this car and I think we can tweak this up a bit so it looks a little bit even more like the robot and that's what we're gonna do here and then the goal the goal will be to do a set of Transformers races now I've got a couple of things I've done recently that you haven't seen yet Maybe you see. I don't know if this has gotten into any videos or not, but I haven't. I haven't featured anything. Uh, in anticipation of this, I did repaint my Nero so, so that it looks a bit more like Drift, although it's not really that perfect. It's the right colors. It's the, roughly the right shape. I know he's he would normally be an adder, but I already have a really nice paint job on my adder. And we'll repair the vehicle. Yeah, we're all revved up here. Now, the first thing we want to look at is the spoiler. Is there... We've got the primary big wing, but if we go with... Is there, like, a smaller wing with the right... The stock spoiler actually looks pretty close, but you know, we need... We can't go with the stock spoiler, I don't think. I think we need to go with... You usually have to at least add... His traction's already maxed out, so you can't tell what, what effect it's having, but that's... That's good. That, that looks a lot like the one in the thing, but we're not going to go with that. The carbon lip is probably the best option for it as far as weight distribution and keeping the tail end from coming around. Everything else is going to put more weight out the back. So we end up with... Right now we've got the primary big wing. If we go secondary, at least then it'll it'll match the color. We get, we'll get match the color kind of on the, on the, the other wing. So... It's the wrong wing for performance. It's as close as we're going to get for style, I think, and still have some sort of traction enhancement. Then you're going to go down to wheels. Wheel type. Now, they just recently took away the benefit of the off-road rims here. But just going with off-roaders, I think we can get something that matches pretty close okay looking at this that's six we need five spoke that's kind of that's a five spoke that's not quite what we're looking for that's a little bit closer it's a little bit thick okay we, are we looking we need to look in tuners because again there's no Too many spokes, still too right style, still too still too many spokes. Yeah, it's not no. That is pretty close. 
it's not exact because these things have like a little circle right in the middle of the thing. So right now, Stance EG might be. Yeah, Stance EG is still cl the closest. Five stars still too thick. Now you're into the the, the, the fewer number of spokes. So, hmm. Street. Concave Mega Mesh. I mean, these look cool. These are completely wrong, of course. And they're the wrong color. I mean, that's still Stance EG Custom is still the one that's looking the closest. Street doesn't have, yeah, there's, there's no, they're all color, uh, color keyed. It looks like we're going tuner, chromes. Is this through, did I try tuners? Or is this a totally different? We have to actually look. I'm just looking for the name. Is there anything here that works? Stance DG. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for all the time. All right. You got great taste. And now we've pretty much. I mean, I think you know. Let's see, do we have bulletproofs on this? Yeah. Tire designs customized. Windows, light smoke. Just because I've been doing that as of late. It's a thing. Bumpers. Now, can we customize this up? Man, that looks pretty close already. Definitely less is more on this. And we want to keep it stock because there's nothing really hanging out here. Rear bumper. The stock rear bumper is the closest thing to no diffusers. If we want to go true bumblebee, it'd be nice if it had a tow hook on it. It doesn't have a tow hook on it, but that is the shape. It's not the right color, but it is the right shape. That's a beauty right there. Maybe I'll take off some of the weight from the gigantic wing. Okay, that might be a fenders, secondary body kit. Yeah, we want that. Grill intercooler with primary vents. This looks like it has an intercooler here. Yeah, let's go. It's, it's more of a chromey thing. I think we've hit it. Probably I would get rid of the sun strip to make it truly look as much like this as possible. Well, they have a little sunstrip there. That might be a... That might be a thing. All right, so it's more of a chunky piece of plastic in there, but I'll, I'll accept it as a sunstrippy kind of... Yeah, we'll leave it in. There's the detail on the wheels. There's the detail on the wheels. I think, I think we're close enough, gang, don't you think? Close enough for Jazz. Ha <laughs> ha, no, not Jazz, Bumblebee. Ooh, he does have a scoop, though. To the primary scoop, now, that would be where the Bumblebee badge would go. And it is yellow, so we want to go with the primary... What's the difference between a primary roof scoop and a race roof scoop? Or a primary race roof scoop, just a matter of a little less... Yeah, so let's go with primary roof scoop. Skirts. Man, the skirts are really are just pretty much on point there. Yeah, the stock skirt is actually probably a little bit closer. It doesn't have the right striping on it and stuff like that. But uh, you know, the, the 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 bumblebee doesn't have the little wing. Primary race skirt might be close. Secondary now the secondary race skirt, eh? Eh, 
it's hard to say. For, for overall styling, I think we'll go with this. We can't get anything exactly per perfect there, but I think that's, uh, I think that's gonna be as close as we're gonna get. So say hello to Bumblebee. From 2006. Buzz Buzz. I like this car. Let's see if we can get the jump done with it without killing anyone. That's the goal. This thing has such nice acceleration. Okay, well, if that car wasn't there, then we would have been fine. And as you can see here, I finally kind of landed on a paint job for my Phoenix. This is the first car I ever grabbed at game. Finally got something here, and I realized this is kind of a wind charger clone. Yes. I was kind of torn as to whether to use the, the stock grill or the iron mask grill. Because obviously this one here is a little bit more towards the style of uh, a Firebird that we're looking at. Whereas this one I think it's supposed to be a little bit more Knight rider -y. But I figured if it's wind charger, then I should give the car whatever aerodynamic, uh, you know, effectiveness I can, whatever kind of enhancements I can to the aerodynamics. And so I stuck with the iron mask. And that's what you're looking at here. Basically, there's not a grill where the little Pontiac symbol is. I know that's not supposed to be Pontiac. It's supposed to be something else. But still, Pontiac! So for today's racing, and probably multiple days racing, they don't have a lot of time. What the, this is going to be a bunch of little sessions, I think, if all goes well. Hopefully I won't go overboard and make it like a six-hour racing montage. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, for muscle car races, I'll be using Wind Charger. For, um, for sports, I'll be using Bumblebee. And for supers, I'll be using the good old-fashioned... Whoa! Trying to get into my car. I'll be using Bumblebee. That pretty well covers it, especially for stunt races. That car totally is hot. Thank you. Okay, let's get on with the action. And boy, I always just picked Chiliad just to start. Expected to say, oh, there's no races, but look, there's an actual race. There's only three of us, but hey, up that's a race. We're racing. So custom adder, see now, now that's a, I like that, but it's not particularly what we're looking for. So let's find, that's that's what I should have built a drift out of, but no, we're gonna, here we go. go free mode, taking drift, it's a Transformers theme kind of thing. I'm not driving the meta. None of these cars are in the meta. Okay, so we got a Nero Custom, looks like. Which, that's not one of the selectable cars, so that's a true Custom. And an X80 Proto, which could be stock. This is usually a bloodbath. Because you need to break through here, and nobody ever knows enough to do that. So you get completely, you do try to take the turn properly and then you get completely taken out. But if you recover quickly, as I have this time around, we can, uh, you know, enjoy catch up for the whole drive because we're going to see how this goes. Now, the X8, I think both those cars have higher top speeds than I do. And they've got catch up on them. Well, certainly I didn't really look, but I think they do. Couldn't quite take that flat out. I felt it going. So I had to lift there for a moment. Let's back the view out. Does this view look really low to you? Like, pretty low slung view for some reason? 
So if they extricate themselves from each other, one of them, probably the X-80 Proto, should be absolutely hunting me down. Either one of them really should be hunting me down. The, uh, the Nero Custom is slightly faster than this. Now the X80 Pro 2 might be hu humble, you know, humble, hobbled, not humbled, hobbled a little bit. Got my mix all talked up today. Hobbled a little bit if it's stock. So the question is, this is a pretty short, short track. So if there's any chance of me getting away. Which one here? If I if I if I pulled out enough of a lead by getting out of that initial wreck better than anybody, someone's lined up on me though. This could be a last minute pass. Relegating me to second. I'm not gonna do the classic shoot off to the side thing, because that so often doesn't work. For me at least. We're gonna take the turbo jump. Float it in as smoothly as we can. Bang win. Wow, they weren't even in the air behind me. I thought that would have been a lot closer. But you got a break on that turn. It's too tight for anything. I, I don't even know if an RE7B can pull that off. Oh dear. There goes third. Can he make it in 22 seconds? I believe. 17. Come on. You can do this. Jump it. Jump it. That's a nice paint job. Can you fall out of the sky in 6, 5, 4? Did he finish? I think he finished. Just... But we'll see. We'll get to find out. Clickety clack, clickety clack. I don't know why it doesn't show the car sometimes. Yay! And I'm spent. And he did finish. All right. Give it a like. Now where do we go to next? Boop, chicky, boop. Okay, I didn't even get to vote there. It's either gonna be a motorcycle race where I'm not really prepared for, you know. I guess my Shotaro could be a really wildly done up RC. Just sort of blue ish. Okay, so there might be a flaw in my plan, but. With the other one, we're going to have to use. Um, we're doing splits. Hmm. The club is the way to go. But I could use one of the Weevils. I don't have a Bumblebee painted Weevil. I have a Herbie painted Weevil. Don't really have anything here. And that's the car. I mean, there's no question. That's That will be devastating. Do we have the Weevil? No, it's not letting me pick a Weevil! Well, this could be Bumble Jumper, I guess. I'll go Weevil. Go Evil and try hard. I wasn't prepared for splits, but I have been waiting to use this on splits for a while. How come he got to use the Weevil? I own a couple Weevils. That looks like a stock Weevil. Did they add the Weevil to the stock? Alright, I don't feel so bad now about uh, going with this car. Excuse me, I have business. 
But you can see there was nothing transformery there, you know? Why am I in first? Did the guy completely wreck himself out? Not the way I normally like to go, but it was where the flow of the track was. Ah, yeah, it's not critical here. In case you're curious where I'm going with that, Bumble Jumper was a, uh, it was a, what, a G1 robot that had a more squared off body, but it had kind of a bumblebee color, but it had, I forget, Cliff Jumper's face and the whole body. It was, it was, there was something weird about it. And it wasn't supposed to be released, but somehow some got out and it's hyper rare. Again, thank you, Theo, for all that information. If you like Transformers, Few Adams, T H E W. Or Thuimus Prime, or any number of affectionate nomenclatures that people give them. Very, very funny guy. Best puns ever. Okay. I think it's fair to say, considering how far back everybody is, that it wouldn't have mattered what car I took on this. This is... They're either crashing or have given up or something. I don't know why. I mean, the club is devastatingly fast, I will grant you, but... And pleasant to drive. I mean, this is just a good driving experience. Can we split the uprights? We... Like, this is gonna have to be, do we want to wait for more money? And give them all a chance to finish. Man, I feel like I would have clipped the, clipped the edge with anything else or something. Just sublime about this car. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, well, that means we'll have done both sides for the most part. Hey. We hardly ever go this way. I always go the yellow way. Somebody left. I think that was the guy who was running the stock vehicles. Whoa, that's an interesting, interesting catch there on the... The end it doesn't look like it's going to matter much. I'll bet you this guy leaves too. They're not even going to be a GG. Okay, is he progressing? Well, he can't be flying through the air over the water, so he must be progressing. Go front wheel drive action! Okay, I'm gonna hit the turbos here when he comes. He must be coming soon, right? Dude. There he is. Hey, he just... Did he just crash? Onto the... What is he doing? Is he just stunting out making his own video? Am I just reading it wrong? Is he going to be coming out of this tube anytime soon? Here he comes. When he flies out of the tube, we nail it. Bang! Okay, it looks like there's four of us for this one. Customs are on, catch-up is off, and Slipstream is on. 
And we're all relatively high uh, ranked players, so this should be interesting. And I am, of course, limiting myself to my new Bumblebee. That's right, we're going Issy Sport. Nope, 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 Who are we racing here? Ghouls, apparently, and one normal guy. Okay. Two normal guys, two ghouls. Ten seconds, let's do the spin. Who will it be? Will it be the weirdest look? Will it be the random selection? Or will Bumblebee pull out a win? This is probably not the best track for Bumblebee. But then again, we're all making bold choices here. And all bold choices. And I've got the handling. Not too many cars will, will take that flat out. And if they're... Okay, it looks like they're smashing into each other. Now, this is a completely different day. Will we make the jump? Just! Okay, I see a little weakness here for Bumblebee. He's not got the the top end to clear some of this. And he cleared it just, but then it was a bouncy, bumpy ride. So the question is, does everybody else have problems? That's what we're going to have to hope for. Somebody's, like, not even close. Somebody's on my tail. Did somebody else quit? No, no, it looks like everybody's in. I don't know why I'm race facing this a little bit. Like, I'm like really concentrating. Oh dear, can we make this? I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Oh, that's, that's just not, not optimal. That's, that's barely making that. Bumblebee is not a bumble jumper? Okay, inside Transformers joke there, but come on. Okay. It was at that point where I started to get a little bit of noise in the background and I reached for the mute button and of course fell out of the tube there. That was the mute button point, in case you were wondering. That's why I was reaching over to get the little button on the on the Yeti caster here, but now we're just racing along and we're trying to keep first. And this car is great, you know, as far as corners, but boy, long straightaways and certainly as you'll see later, not jumps. Jumps is definitely going to be a weak point here. But we're zipping along, singing a song. And apparently, for whatever reason, just completely outpacing everybody else. Now, there are very few cars that could take that turn flat out, which I believe that was there. This car just handles so nicely. It's a dream to drive. It's just a dream to drive. Until it's a nightmare. And there are certain times, like if you'll watch this jump, man, you just get that feeling in the back of your legs is just not going to make it. Boy, that's... And obviously, by the way, I'm, I'm voicing this over several days after having done the race now. So we've got some live stuff, some not live. Well, it's live as I'm saying it, but I mean, it wasn't said at the time during the race. And I'm going to have another bit of this later on in the next set of clips. You'll, you'll see what I mean. 
But this is an interesting thing. I was continuing this session. I was continuing on with trying to do the whole Transformers thing. And, well, it gets less Transformers-y because I end up, you know, with certain certain hosts picking, you know, like, no, uh, no customs allowed. And then there were no real options for me to take later on. But for right now, we've got Bumblebee here. And he is owning this track. He's just zipping along. No one's nearby. I don't know what happened to them, really. It's because they should be able to hunt me down with this. I don't remember if catch up was turned on. I think it probably was. It almost usually is. Well, I guess I'm just taking the turns enough that uh, the straights aren't hurting me that much. Again, we hit this jump. It's like, please make it. Please. Okay, there we go. That's where, that's how you're supposed to do that part. And there are many cars, if I try to take that flat out, they will spin out in that curve. This, this car is nice for that. Go Bumble Bay. Pushed it a little bit around that corner, but it brings in the win. And it freezes right there on the start finish line. Man, not a lot of gas. Not enough ASMR there. Oh dear. Well, if that was the kind of stuff that was happening, well, that is a bold choice, though. The Comet Retro, that's a bold choice. I would have to say, of the two choices, I had a bold choice, he had a bolder choice. Because those can be a handful, as I understand it. Yay! One of the best looking cars, though, in the game, especially if you like Porsches. I mean, that's just... He's... Well, you can tell it's up armored. I finished first. Me and Bumblebee. Bumble, Bumble. Bumble. Bumble, bumble, bumble. Yeah. And I'm spent. Okay. Next one up. Best lap by far. I would have thought that, that RH8 would have given me a run for my money. Because, I mean, I think... I think we're, we're on par performance-wise for a lot of it. I think the sport has... A, the sport has an edge, but I would have thought, well, all you need is one spin. I didn't even get to vote here. I was going to go for rally just to be cruel, but they got enough votes. Decisions were made. Loading. And green machine it is. And here, of course, we go back to using my homage to Drift. So I'm going with a standard Nero. Fully loaded standard Nero. Not the Nero ultra custom thing there. No, we're going to do it with the Nero. Which is a good choice. Again, if you really want to go hardcore on this. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, this was one of the ones where they started to turn off customs. But I still had the option of going with the same car I was going to drive. So I figured, hey, let's stick with the theme here. It's not going to be as good an homage. But we'll put a crew blue uh, Nero together. That'll be close enough. Basically ultra blue. It's just a little bit off. As you can see... The people I'm racing with, a little bit off. At least that guy's ready for the Rona. A couple people ready for the Rona. That, that's all good. Stunt green machine. Stunt, stunt green machine.
So in theory here, I mean, I've taken a good all-rounder, but the other cars should have each its own strength. Like that, uh, that Tempesta is very good in the tubes, apparently. Oh dear, someone clipped me. Or I clipped somewhere. Something happened there. So that slowed things down. The Itali GTB, that should have a really good top speed. That guy tried to hit me. Around this mess. This was, yeah, there was a lot of bumping and banging going on, as I recall. So let's watch it and see what happens. We scrape our way around out of the way. Somehow, first has really taken off and gone away. I don't know why I'm getting like, you are blowing my doors off there. It's just like, I guess they were slipstreaming each other and they teamed up and then they stopped teaming up. Just out turned him into that corner. Which, I mean, the Tempesta, that's its party piece, it's handling. And jump C. Okay. All right, we're making the jumps pretty handily here. So that's this is one track where like the Devastate has a lot of trouble because there's some weird physics that goes on and it barely makes the jumps. Well, this car didn't have to worry about that too much. Whee. Somehow made it up into third. I think that was a legit third. Go for number two. I'm not, not entirely sure yet. As we come out of the loop, still in third. Trying to close and solidify a podium here. Let's see how it goes. I actually don't remember. <laughs> I'd love to tell you what's going to happen next. I'm, I'm reacting with you because it's been like even a while. I have to look up what the date is on the video. And ba bing! Plus, I've done some racing since, so it all kind of mixes together. In a good way. Okay, we get to slip, which is the pathway around. We slip in a second. Okay, climb up the wall carefully and whip it down. Whip it downtown. And there you go. A little bit of slip to give me the boost. Lap two and second. Alright, just go ahead. Let us work together, shall we? If we work together with slip, we can catch up to that guy in first place. I slip you. You slip me. We'll keep doing that. We've got incredible boosts. Here we go. No, that no. Well, you, you and naturally you have you hurt us both. Now I leave. He slammed into me going around and then fell down. So. Rather than slipping me and us both catching the guy in first, oh no no no. Let me try to spin you so I can just take your place. And now you're behind me. Let this be a lesson to you folks. You know, if you just race like proper racing shows and you, you use the slip to catch up to the leader and then go around the leader and don't wreck anybody. Who's this guy? That, that purple car just keeps going after everybody. He took out the red car before. He's taken. He, he's hurt me. Well, he's tried to hurt me a couple times. There's the guy. Is that the guy who tried to wreck me before? Is that a different Nero? Now I'm back. Now I'm. Now I'm. I'm really in a recovery mode. And I only have half a lap to do it. So it's not. Not looking good. That is the story with GTA racing, though. A lot of times, you know, if you get a good result. Gonna be thrilled because you're mostly you're gonna get wrecked out, and then you see what you can do as far as a good lap.
I don't know. I've never taken the uh, the Bumpy McBump Meister deliberately just go out for no reason and be the guy to start everything kind of mode. I've never said, you know what, as far as I'm concerned, my car has a phantom wedge nose on it. I'm just going to drive through everybody. Don't know what happened there. The, suddenly I'm in fourth. Like He must have fallen out of the loop, something. Maybe he got lag uh, dragged and I, it looked like I hit him and I didn't. I don't have any damage. I didn't hit him. You didn't see me hit him. I didn't see me hit him. So I really have nothing to work with as to what happened here. Wee. So, up in the fourth, I think that's as best as we're going to pull off here, which, all things considered, at least we're not last. We're even shoved off the cliff for funsies. So second has finished. As soon as third finishes, there you go. Now it's the fourth is the best I can do. Not actually that far back. Almost picked it up to third. Is that the same guy? Was he just still stuck there? No, can't be. He's just clowning. Clowning. Give me my jips. Give me my rips. No rips. None. Aliens. That might have been the Nero custom that wrecked me. Now he worked his way out in front. Though it could have been Lorenzo LX2. I think Lorenzo did some bumping and banging later, too. I think so. Yeah, Suli, Sulerio and Lorenzo LX. I think they were the Bumpy McBumpmeisters mostly, as I recall. Yeah, I was picking stunt just to be, you know, stunt rally just to be bitter, but. Oh, there's bad decisions made here. By me. See, when I was thinking of this next track, I was thinking of all of the huge hills and stuff like that, and I thought I might struggle with the, the long length of the uh, of the Shotaro getting it to glide. I thought there was a couple places you really wanted to glide on this. And so I went with the BF... Oh, no, it's City Air. There's one where I, we did do that that race. That was the next, uh, the next set. We got City Air out of this. Oh, I remember this now. Customs. Oh, you're, you're going to love this. No, just settle down. Get yourself a beverage. This is going to be great. So when you turn off Customs on City Air, which is not something that you often see, well, I guess you see it often enough. What you find is they really do limit what your options are. I don't. I don't know why. I mean, obviously they wouldn't want you to take uh, a car that can't survive it. But I mean, I was able to do that with my Izzy Sport, so it should, the jump shouldn't be that bad. Bilbo wagons. Uh, Frozen feeling. At any rate. It became time though. Catch up is on, slipstream is off. No, slipstream is on, and customs are off. That's key. We got two laps going we're loading with. So was it, do I take the Omnis? These are basically rally cars. And for some reason even the, the Sprunk Buffalo is considered like in the rally kind of mode of things. And that Drift Tampa, which is, you know, a thing. But I decided to go with just a Crew Omnis. 
almost entirely just on Bruffy's word. I know that the uh, the the tropos is a little bit quicker. I thought let's let's go for the uh, the sublime experience, right? If you've watched any Bruffy thirteen twenty two, you know that is his favorite car. So I said we'll take Bruffy's favorite car on his word. Interesting people. And here we have it. So someone took the yeah, that's a bold choice going with the drift. Most took the ominous. So the word's getting around. There is a tropos there to deal with, but we'll see how it goes. I get the jump off to start. There's already some bumping and banging. Blast past the field. Up in a second. The car in front of me is a drift tampa. And then those people are starting to fly on top of you. I go into this. I get bumped. It holds the line. I'm drifting the drift. I'm, actually, I'm slipping the drift. Slipping the drift here. There's a bunch of people on my tail. This eventually becomes important. You hit the jumps. He comes down. Boom. I had a little bit more momentum going. I'd already been accelerating. Bang. Into first. Ominous is proving its worth. I'm having a very good run. And oh, bleh. Okay. Oh, he just explodes. So, here we are. There's a pile of cars behind me. He's blocking the end of the tube. I'm beat up. I've got catch-up on. And you can just hear the engine going. But I've got the lead. Now I'm expecting any minute everyone to come flying past me because I, you know, I'm beat up. Look at that wing. Oh, that poor wing just stomped. Don't forget these cars are stock. They don't have any armor. So we've taken a lot of rear end damage here. Pushing it around the curves. Where is it? And I can see everybody kind of piled up behind me, but they're not closing, which I can only think that they're hitting each other. They're all fighting with each other, and I am scampering away. I'm trying to do whatever I can to fight the, the catch-up. I'm curb boosting as best I can, hit the slowdown strips. Come on, baby Omnis, let's do this. That baby blue Omnis. Whee. I think that's actually the paint job on my personal on this. I was thinking of painting it green so that it would match, you know, match up with the car I have, but I don't know if I've done that yet. So it might still be the crew blue on this. And I'm not leave it that way after this because that's just good luck. It's all gone well. Don't worry. This is going to, right now it just looks like, hey, look, he's going to win the race after all that. No, 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 no. Let's just, just keep watching. There are things. This this race had things. A lot of people behind me. Lap to a two. Clean lap. No. How is that a clean lap? Would you look at the rear end of my car? I guess if a whole bunch of cars land on you, that doesn't count against your clean lap. Okay, well then that's fair. Mean. I've got ketchup on. It is dragging this car down to nothing. I don't know if ketchup is a progressive thing, where the further ahead you get it, more it slows you down, but ooh. We are just hoping to make the jumps here. Handling on the Omnis is still smooth. I'm looking back. I don't see nobody. Where where's everybody gone? Ooh, rotated it just enough so I wouldn't kick off the uh, the top of the ramp there. Where is everybody? I have I've got I'm in full catch up mode. I'm in an Omnis, which I know the Tropos has uh, a better top end, I believe. Not by much. If everybody's competitive is in the same car, then it's just a difference between me and the catch up. But they should still be catching up. 
But don't worry, there, there's a better form of catch-up coming. You don't want to close things up. You just wait. Just wait. Here we go. Why would you do this? And now second place is right on me. Barely made the jump. He lands on me again. Now the battle's on. He's on my tail. He wouldn't have been on my tail if that guy had not decided to block the road. He's going for my doors there. Now I, now he's got catch up. I got slip. I'm just going to work this. Get it down. Get some curbs. Get some slip. Come on. Move the tubes across to the outside. Go for the pass, he goes for my fender. Pull it together. I wasn't really going for him, I just rode up the side of the wall. Now we've, oh, we're on the wrong side of history. Just tangled with him too much, couldn't get it around. Now he's got the lead. Mrs. Table de Nuit. This is Table de Nuit? I don't know what to. This is table nut. I don't know what that. I'm, I don't. I don't speak French. I don't know. Well, I'm still trying to see if I can do anything I can to pull this back in. But there's no. There's no time left. There's not enough road. There's just not enough road. And you can see by that little bit I, I lost. And I certainly would have had that little bit. If that stupid red card hadn't decided. <laughs> Look at me. I'm gonna block the road. Aren't I funny? I'm so funny. He's so funny. That's the guy. Frozen feeling. Yeah, I got a frozen feeling for you. Ruining my race. I assume that's the only red one, right? How could it not be? How could he just driving around? Does he even know that he can respawn? Do they even know? These poor, poor race drivers of GTA who don't know about the respawn button. Apparently he doesn't know. But the race is going to end. I'm still second out of a pretty large crew. So what did we get here? Not as much as a win, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you, you. This is Table de Nuit. You spun me out and you got the win and you're like, oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, sure, that's great. Still got 17 grand out of it, but I mean, you know. My my best lap, you know, wasn't... It was three seconds off his best lap, but I did the whole thing with catch-up on. I mean, really. Almost the entire race with catch-up. Okay, we're going for Shiliad, but what do we get? As far as they know, this ends badly as well. Shiliad, I love the track, but man, the first couple turns are always a bloodbath. No one slows down for that one turn. It just they, they have to slow down for. And they just go, I'm going to drive straight in through the turn. And no, no, this is the wave. How we, I thought we had more voices for... Voices. More votes for uh, Chiliad. All right, well, now this goes back to my other, where was, my other conversation where I said I, I made mistakes here in selection. I forgot how many tight turns there are on this track. And I should have taken the... You know, I should just always take the Shitaro, really. Even in this mode of thought, it would it would fit for Transformers, really. It's Tron-ish. I'm sure there's some Transformer bike people that look Tron-ish. It would have worked. But no. I thought, well, what's got a, what, what can I glide well? With a good top speed. And I went for the BF400. Now, that's still not a bad choice. Don't get me wrong. with this crew.
Didn't see anyone. Now there's one guy ready for the Rona. That was it. And Ten seconds to go. I definitely had my eye on these two people. I've been doing some serious bumping and banging. And we launch. At some point I might have to give myself a Super Mario mustache just for the heck of it. And right off the bat I'm thinking I have forgotten how this track is. But I know I have some tools available to me. Handling is not one of them. This is... The, the, I forget how badly the BF400 can handle. But it does glide, and that glide saves me right there. I was going right off. And then you got that purple Solario guy trying to kill me. He just does that. It's what he does. It's his skill. I'm just trying to draft him and then be in a position where... Whee! Okay, he just, he just overdrove the turn on that. Okay, so that was good. I used brakes. He didn't use brakes. Believe me, I have my own issues at some point. But this is just, you know... Someone's drafting me through the fire... This part always sucks. This is like thud. Okay, now just go up the hill here. Try not to fall backwards. And you try not to go off the edge. I don't know what happened there. Why did I die? I should be able to land that in a little bit of a wheelie and not just, just die. I bounce. I use the wall there to keep myself in. There's at one point, I think I did screw that. Yeah, I used it again. That's a technique. Hey, it's Bumpy McBumpmeister in purple. Okay, that's... This is table in the net. Is, uh... In the first. Yep, no, that's wrong. My bad. I'm silly. Now I gotta recover some more as I drop to eighth over that. Really, really, really. Into the dealy. Around and around and around we go. Up to seventh. Why I don't know. Six. Someone had a reset there. And no, I was full brakes. I couldn't I couldn't do anything. I could go in the water. Too fast. Too hard, too fast. Then suddenly you turn. You end up taking a bath. Okay, so now we're down to ninth. And it's like, alright, well, what can we recover? on this bike. And I'm going through these turns saying, oh, I miss my Jotaro. I miss you. I miss you so much. Okay, glide it, glide it, glide it. Use wheel. You, know, you, you got this bike for that strength. Let's try and... I just want something that I could wheelie with and I could get some... Uh, Get some air control with if I needed it. And it did save me a couple places, didn't save me well enough in others. Wheelie! Down the track. Don't have a heart attack. Wheelie! Down the track. Try not to have a heart attack. Once again, almost going off. Can't get air control it back in. This is this is not a track I choose really to, to drive. It's one that comes up in the list when you're with people, and it's so hard to get people to race against. You go with it, but I mean it's it's a very finicky track. I'm like, how come I'm in sixth? I've really no idea. This is where you start thinking top five is always possible, but it might not be. It might not. There's all. Uh, what? How? What did I do wrong there? Why did it just suddenly stop the bike? 
And here I tried to turn it in. I didn't use the wall and then you go off. So you, you have to go, you have to bounce it there. So that was possible. But this time I just bounce it hard. You know, bounce it hard off that wall. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna slide off again. We're not gonna make the same mistake. Already right, this time I was able to get it more straightened out to begin with. Over the last time we do this glide, glide it, baby. Close in on somebody. Is that Bumpy McBumpmeister? Whoa! But look at that. I, I hit a, I hit a kink of some nature, and it tossed me into the checkpoint, closing all kinds of gap here. Using the wheelie powers of the BF400, take the position. And then he does an under the top undertake, uh, uh, an undertake there. He's the undertaker going the, not an over the top overtake, but an undertaking. As we come around here, seventh might be the best I can do because I'm running out of road. And again, I don't have an advantage here as far as handling this return. I got to slow it down. If I had the Shotaro, man. Cleaned up. Whoa! Again, a turbo wheelie kick. I'm not even sure what physics is going on there. I'm trying to break so I don't get pulled off with the uh, with the with the slipstream there. Throwing it right to the side here. Not enough speed. We're we're gonna have to settle for seven. Totally having to settle for seven. But close seventh. And here we have pants. I don't know what was going on there. That was just... Whee! Now here's a little tip for you. I mean, that's not a bad bike to take. You've got the gargoyle going there. But if you put the big, the big spoke wheels on, or the Spider-Man wheels or something on the back wheel, you can wheelie that thing and get you know an unbelievable speed glitch going. So that's I know that the the chains look cool, but if you want to go turbo fast, change out that rear tire. Otherwise you're only going normal fast. Yeah, I was not on the pace for this one. And that was the end of this session. And now we're gonna pick it up with the next session, which for at least the first bit of it, uh, will be live voice. And the one, and the two, and the three. Hey, I ended up as the host. Let's pull everybody in. We're doing this now. Ahora. That's it. Continuing, we'll run with drift here. I don't really know much about drift. I. I to be perfectly honest, I didn't see the movie. That was already at the point where I'd kind of given up on the Michael Bay Transformers. And I know he has a comic book presence, but in, I haven't been into the comic books in a long time. Well, oh, we've got some, some interesting choices here. Some bold choices and some not-so-bold choices. I've got a semi-bold choice. This is a pretty good car. That's an Emerus. Let's keep this tight. But try to stay out of the way. You can't even do that. People just want to hit you. Okay. This is a short track. I'm not anticipating hunting down an Emerus on this track. Still got to try. Oh, no! I almost could have come across and got him if I just hit the right way. So this is the flavor we're getting here. We're just getting bumpy McBuntmeisters taking people out. They don't want to race. Fine. This is a short track point to point. There's no way I'm going to pull this in at this point. I've been taken out by an obvious bumpy McBuntmeister. In a crappy car. 
And he's going to end up one position ahead of me because he's not catching anybody else either. It's just what I expect anymore, really. It's it's just what I expect. This is the, what you're racing against now are the people who aren't in the game enough to know that transform races are actually double money. Yeah, I know. Isn't it ironic? Transform races are, are, you know, I'm doing a Transformers theme, but not that kind of transform, so therefore not helpful to me because I don't get to use the cars I want. You're just using random stuff that's built into the, the game. I mean, yeah, yeah, I have enough customs that I can do pretty well with that, and I probably will do a set of Transform races at some point. But right now, I just want to finish out this kind of theme sort of video where I, I've, all right, I've used the supercar, I've used, I've used Drift, I've used Bumblebee, I would like to, again, use Wind Charger at some point. I have no chance here. I'll be lucky if I don't DNF. Okay, if that guy, okay, so he just landed in the tree. Which is suboptimal. And therefore he got passed and I got fourth instead of fifth. So I wasn't last after all that, so but not really, you know, but I mean, it was because the other guy did poorly and is obviously not trying. What is that? Is that one of the tallies? I don't even know. We'll find out. Didn't get a good look at it. Krieger, sure. I have a Krieger. I can race a Krieger. We've got a theme going. So that these are people who either A, don't know, oh, it's a Furia, don't know that it's double money on transform races, or uh, they just love racing that much, or they're doing a themed video, so therefore uh, that's why. All right, where are we going next, gang? I didn't even vote. We just didn't. I didn't have a uh, a thing here. Probably motorcycles. And with this crew, I'm going to take my uh, Shotaro this time around. Definitely not screwing around this time. Well, we need something with maximum grip for reflecting bumpy McBump Meisters. All right, Spinner. What are we in? We're in Supers. I'm the host. I'm going to turn catch up off. Confirm settings. Auto invite. Can we get more people into this? A little bit. I mean, I'm willing to just go with these guys. And I'm also willing to have them all leave. Because they seem to be, you know, at least one of them, and I don't know which one, isn't really all that kind of good. Alright, let's just launch it. Us five. Can I... Not be last this time. Slip is on. Catch up is off. I'm going to try to boost out ahead of them early without you know getting wrapped up in an accident. Still, I'm not going hardcore. I'm still going to do the bold choice kind of thing. These are the people. One of them is crashing into me. Yeah, we spin it around a little bit. Will it be that guy? Let's see. A couple stock wheels here. So it's probably going to come down to me and the, uh, the Krieger, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we got the boost. There goes the Emer Emerus. Emerus and a Krieger.
Will they wreck each other? Or will I simply get the slip? I'm enjoying the ride though. I mean, this is a nice car to drive. Well, it'll be interesting to see which one takes the uh, the win. The Krieger, as I recall, does better in tubes, so he, he should have a speed advantage in the tubes. But on the pavement, it should go to the Emirates. So it's an interesting track for this. At least one of them got wrecked out. Spun out, got wrecked, something. A little bit of a drift there, slight drifting. Oh, this is this track. Huzzah, okay. It is amazing how that Emerus will just pull right past me. That's. But is that a Transformers car? No, not to my knowledge. Am I closing on him for some reason? Why would that be? A little bit of slip. No, I do I do a little bit better in the tubes than he does. I don't know. This is this needs to come down. Okay, that, that was a little bit problematic. I had too much speed coming out of there. I thought I was going to go over the, uh, over the wall. Okay, am I lined up here? Okay, we're lined up okay. Alright, let's just try and do, let's, let's calm ourselves down. Let's calm ourselves down. Let's just drift to it, because he's like a Shogun ninja something or other, right? That's, that's the Transformer, alright. Let's just drive our race. We're going to go for good laps. Clean laps. And keep the, the, the rest of the pack behind us. That'll be, that'll be the goal. Good laps, clean laps, snuggly laps. As we wheel this puppy around. All right, just a little bit of race face there. I went a little bit quiet, a little bit, a little bit focused. I really just want to put a clean lap and see how competitive I am. And the top two cars are the two top cars. They're the best ones you can run with, as far as tracks are concerned. I've got a good car. Not a great car. It was a great car once upon a time. And it's an enjoyable car to drive. Four-wheel drive. It's a good all-rounder. Whoa, what the heck? We, we hit something here. Good recovery. Some something you know. It's, it was like when we were going around there, it just caught the uh, the real t rear tail of the car here, just the rear corner, and spun it. But again, it recovers well. It's not a bad car to drive. I'm not closing on the top two. There's no question about it. 
Unless they get close on each other and then wreck each other. Not a whole lot of hope for me doing anything other than third. This is as good as it's going to get. Kept it off the metal because that will that'll grab the car. Okay, so rectif rectified X. Rectified X? I don't even know. Okay. So the two the two guys are try harding it this time around. And I'm, hey, I'll, I'll race with that. They got that. I think they were pulling a 251. That was just a 255. So I'm a little off the pace as far as whatever one. What do you think one? You think it was the Emerus or the Krieger? I think the Krieger. And we finished out far enough that these guys DNF. Interesting. You think it's going to be all supers this time? Da, yeah, Krieger. Yeah, they're just outpowering me on that. I mean, my best lap was 10 seconds off the pace of the top two. It's just, not, I think I was driving pretty clean there. So, I mean, you know, just a matter of wheels. But again... I'm sticking to the theme. Let's try to use Racing Alley. That'll at least let me do some... Well, I think could be a very competitive car with that. As Bumblebee, I think, has the traction to be competitive. I mean, if, someone's, if they're going to bring out Italian GTOs, they might be able to outpower me on this. Yes, I do have a GTO, but I mean, again, it's not a Transformers thing. I'm no longer the host. Okay. And it's downtown loop. We're back to supers. Supers. Alright, I'm still gonna still gonna stick with drift. I don't know of any of you know if there's a justification in the Transformers universe yet for using a uh, a top car like the uh like the Krieger. Krieger is what you want. The Devastate technically would be like Devastate or but I have my Devastator painted one is on the other other uh, character. This would be a black one. And it's got good handling and wild top speed, but if someone bumps you, you're going all over the place. It's light. And it's funny on its physics. Sometimes it doesn't like to... It, it, you, you jump and it just floats there like a leaf and falls down. Yeah, I mean, there's some problems with the Devastate. A guy names himself Sloth and then puts weed as his crew. That's hilarious. We'll get a couple more races in. And then... I don't know. It's Once again, what are the odds of me getting a muscle car race in? Nobody does them. I mean, it's just... It just doesn't happen. So, I mean, I do have, you know, the wind charger I'd like to take out there. My, my Phoenix. Which isn't going to be competitive, maybe. Anyway... Maybe I'll take it around, you know, duel at the end, like I did with the Moonbeam, just to show it off. Interesting. We got some Turbo Try Hard stuff, a bunch of X80 Protos. It's like they don't realize customs are turned on. And a couple Emeruses. Come on, give me room. What happened there? Lag anyone? Okay, we're in second.
I'm bringing someone behind me into the curves. We're in second, but there is a lot of people on our tail. Probably there's some catch up on. I don't think I got catch up yet. I'm not in the lead. If catch up's on, well, that might work for me here because that might be the one thing that drags down an Emerus. But the inside getting the lead, meh. Dragging me down too. Once we start battling back and forth, we're both dragged down. The whole pack comes up and gets us. I don't know if those are st stock X80s. So I don't know if they'll have the same top speed advantage. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to go for boost there and fall off the edge. I just want to keep a straight going into this loop. Get this down here, get a good line. Good bit of braking there so I don't put it against the wall. I mean, I'm not getting the optimal lines for this. I know that. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't push it too hard and bounce it off of something. And All right, we're... We're competitive here with whatever's up front, so that's good. Maybe only because of catch up. But I didn't I didn't uh, select that. Somebody else did. Whoa. That was interesting. It just kind of kind of cut on me there. That's it wasn't quite straight on that one. Kickity? Whippity? Yeah, I'm entering first because of the physics of the uh, checkpoints. Well, I didn't go down there dead center on that one because that would have been woo. He's working those curb boosts trying to, uh, to stay ahead. I mean, he's got a faster car, so he, he may be able to pull that off. Go. Whoa! That didn't look good. Was it bad? It, like, the other guy behind him looked good, but I mean, that guy was going in, like, upside down. Okay, will we be off enough that we'll miss any crisscross crash? The Emerus is pulling a gap on me. Ooh, he spun out! Now I'll have the catch up. That's the problem with the Emirates. They will, they, their back end will come around on them every once in a while. It is rear wheel drive, and they, they, they can be touchy. There is still a little bit of advanced handling flags on those puppies. That's why I prefer the Krieger. They're a lot more settled. And they do really well with uh, tubes. Oh, what the heck was that? You got people coming up on us in heavy duty cars. Okay, I hit the brakes there, and then they both crashed into each other. And maybe me, and I, I blew through it, but I did hit the brakes to do a full-on uh, top gun. Uh, I'll hit the air brake, they'll fly on past. Because they are coming from my doors. I'm like, all right, well, you can go ahead. You'll be ahead of me. Okay, we got one coming up on us. Probably in the slip. Why am I getting those those lag bursts? I think it's related to somebody coming in range of me here. It's probably an internet kind of thing. Yeah, we got two cars coming up. Keep it to the inside. Keep it. Every time I say that, someone tries to wreck me from the outside. Whoa! What the hell was that? It just materialized around me. Okay, I think that's why I'm getting those video lag bursts because it's probably their internets just fighting with my internets. 
I guess that guy's just stunting it over there and getting some extra points. I, I, yeah, I don't even know how to drive with these guys because they're just bouncing all over the place. Or am I bouncing all over the place? You can't really tell! Thank you. All right, how can we save this? We can't. Dude just flops over on top of me. What is happening here? Somebody left. That might have been caused. I know that causes issues from time to time. If you get a good result in a, in a public GTA race, in a pubs race, you have to be really proud of yourself because, I mean, there's just so much that can go wrong and it, that people make go wrong. The good news is I think those people are far enough out ahead of me that I can drive smoothly now. Is the race finishing or do I get another lap? I get another lap. All right. Last lap. Okay, I should be able to get a clean pass on this dude. Not a good place to get the slip. Now would not be a bad time to get the slip. Okay, somehow I think we made the pass. I don't know what happened to him. I know I didn't touch him. I know I'm flying through the air with the greatest of ease. All right, let's get down on it. I know I like my car. I'm enjoying the drive. I know it's not going to catch up with what's ahead. You know, Vingo, you know, Gingo goes there, he's there. How do you say that? You're talking Emerises and Kriegers, you know, I'm in, I'm in the GT2 here. I mean, that's not... And for having had a car fall on me, I think probably fourth is not too bad. That was close. Those guys were bumper and bumper and side to side there. He paid a last minute uh, pass on him. All right. Fourth is the best I can pull off. Top three were really close together. And I wonder how many seconds I'm behind. If that really if was that reset. Is that really the difference? Eh. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything wrong there. It was just suddenly a car on your head. What am I, what am I looking at? There's two cars. Two purple. What are these people? He won't let him out? Well, surely he knows he can just reset. I mean, they're not trying. You, you can only get in that position together. What am I looking at? I don't even... <sighs> Oh, it should have been an eight minute run total. Alright, this time, uh, well, this boy, he's just alternating. Sometimes. Oh no, it's the other guy. It was, uh, yeah, so he's, uh, he's been in his Emerus. I had best lap. Are you serious? No way. I had best lap, and yet, so if I hadn't been stomped, go Nero. Duel. We have to pick duel. Come on. Duel with me, gang. No, please don't be boring and do big drop. Big drop is boring. Come on, let me take the we take the Phoenix out. I won't even win. Come on.
Big drop, big disappointment. Come on, duel. I want to do duel. And we get big drop. It's sorry. I'm sure that's a sorry for something else, but you should be sorry for voting for big drop. Duel. The high skill one. Nothing but curves. I'm going to end up just doing duel to finish this off, aren't I? Because that's just... I think already... This is my third session trying to do this. The other session I have to voice over a bit more. And that kind of... You've probably already seen it. So I'll be in there. That'll be in the middle part where things kind of got a little untransformery. But I mean, this is... Uh, I haven't even voiced that over yet. So this is... You can see the little behind the scenes here. I'm thinking... This is going to get to be long, and, you know, I don't know, maybe you're into that. Maybe that works. But, you know, I don't know how many people go, oh, look, a four-hour racing video. I think not. I mean, that's just, you know, I'll go look at some old Ray William Johnson stuff. What's up, Forum? Uh, let's see. Let's roll here. Am I the only one who thinks Robbie Motz's delivery was a little bit better? Is it, am I the only one? Come on, bring up B. Get, wow. Okay, so far, vote for the winner here. The weirdest outfit usually gets the win. I don't think it's going to be that guy, but you never know. Sometimes a random swing gets the win, but here we are. It looks like it's a bold choice, but this thing's got so much grip. And we do have Parai in a lot of straightaways, so we'll have to see. But I've got bold acceleration. And then slipstream to make up for the lack of speed. And probably catch up. Let's straighten this out. A little more slip. Oh dear, it's it's laggy McLagmeister again. That's hard to look at. Everybody else is solid, so I'm blaming that guy. If it was me, everyone would be jumping around. It's that guy. Okay, come on, keep me, give me some slip. I know I could take these turns mostly flat out. That's the that's the uh, the party piece of this car. Huge amounts of grip. Even I kissed the wall on that, but and acceleration it accelerates well. Could you please not? Come on, little bee. Let's show these big racy cars what we can do. That almost didn't make the jump. Is that technique that screwed me up? He pulled me right in with him there. That was one of the unfortunate things. I was trying to keep the slip at all costs there. Keep in the slip at all costs. I think fourth is definitely slipping in on me and closing. I mean, almost everything else has a higher top speed. Will I make this jump? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. B! Well, we're done. We're so done. If we can't make this jump, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit. All right, well, that didn't help. All right, here's your uh, your tip of the day here. The Issy Sport, even fully upgraded, can't even glide its way up there. We're, this is a, like, look. I'm not in a slow car. It doesn't have all the top speeds.
But it has some. I mean, we should be able to do this. Yeah, we're, we're just done here. We can at least, you know, admire the car from many different angles. Pro tip. The Issy Sport. I was in third place up to that point. So what do we do? I don't want to. I don't want to leave the race because then you're like a bad sport. Yeah, mine can't either. Okay. It's almost over. DNF. Okay. We're in 10th. Should we try to be as close to that as possible and try and get 9th? Seventh. All right, we got 30 seconds. Couldn't finish a lap. Well, when you're a slave to a theme, I guess. This is what happens. But I didn't leave, so I don't, that won't reduce everybody's payments here. You know, we're going to... Dinuf. Were we last? Or maybe that guy we meant that his he tried this, he knew we couldn't do it, so he did he drove a different car. Same guys winning it all the time, it's just it is what it is. Now the GB two hundred couldn't make it either. I like the track, but obviously the trap the, the track has issues. Yeah, you think rally class cars can't do it. I'm absolutely voting for duel. Come on, somebody come with me. I mean, splits or duel are both interesting. East Coast is not interesting. I also don't know if it can make East Co the jumps on East Coast. We'll have to pick something else. What else do we have that's a transformer -y sports car? This poor bumblebee can't handle these jumps. It makes me sad. It does. Alright, supers anyway, so we can just go with the drift. I thought this was a sports race. That was going so well. We were competitive up to that point. I mean, you see what I have to work with here. I'm just being very specific. Ah, um, yeah, still, he's still wild this out. I guess that's not working this race around. Nah, it's gonna be that the same guy, probably. There he is, Emirates Bound. Some stock cars. There's a lot, they should really turn customs off. Yeah, a couple Emiruses, and that's gonna be the deal. And me, of course. I mean, I do have a custom. 
Will it have strength for this track? Like weight. It can it can go into a fight pretty handily. Oh, someone's got a devastate. That's interesting. Oh dear, what happened there? That was look like the ground bit him. That was weird. Like the nose just wouldn't clear and it caught. Oh dear. I had nowhere to go there, and we both get screwed. He just came across in front of me, like nothing I could do there. Why doesn't this happen to Vango hosts or whatever it is? Why do Vango. This is. In this series, if I edit it the way I think I'm going to edit it, that's the second time I've T boned someone who's just been across the road once intentionally and once. Obviously, unintentionally. In this series of... In this video, with multiple sessions, okay. Alright, so clean driving may get me some positions here. I'm probably not going to be able to chase down Vengo Host unless he has a rare, rare moment. Sometimes you do everything right and the waves still grab you a little bit there. Slow you down. I mean, I'm liking this car. I mean, it's, it's, it's handling everything really quite well. Lift here a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, what a maneuver. Oh, Nero. I thought that was slick. Put you right up in a fourth. Someone's closing now. Whoa! Flying over the over the top overtake, out of control. I got slip. My slip goes jingle jangle jingo. Breaks. I'm not trying to put him off. That was like full. I slowed down as much as I could there. To be as considerate as possible. And now I'm I'm experiencing at that point in the video a little bit more noise from the holly. Oh dear, he he had an issue. So I'm giving it some fresh voice over here. I hit the mute on the main game, and and now we'll do a little bit of a retrospective because now I I'm trying to figure out what happened. I'm pretty sure fourth is about where I came out with this. We'll see. I may have been able to pull something else in. Let's let's see. I'm, I'm going to be as excited as you are to see me pull up on third. There's third. Third's a good turn and a half ahead of me. Or two turns ahead of me. Come on. Let's do this thing. Don't hit the tree. That's a little... Whoa, and there's suddenly somebody. I'm like, where did you come from? Someone must have fallen off and then respawned. And they were suddenly there. Now I've got some slip on me. They're coming inside. Okay, lag. Got some serious lag going on there. We've got the lag daddy here. He's hitting water that isn't there. I mean, that's... He's got a different experience of this game than I'm having of this game. And I'm trying to, to power up and catch up here, but he's clearly zipping along. Am I closing? Again, this might be interesting because I, I do know where you, you do have to lift a little bit here. Did I even lift a little bit there? But he handled it very well as well. I don't know that I can reel in forth here until, let's see, what am I landing on? No, I'm not landing on. Power through the tubes. Vango hosts. I tried to get fancy here and get more speed out of it. Oh, that's what happened. I got the thing and then I couldn't keep it on the track. 
about do a little bit of a flourish there at the end, and boy, you know that that comes back to bite you. But the truth be told, I wasn't deliberately trying to be fancy. I just lost it a little bit, and yet I couldn't. I knew if I if I didn't go with the flow of the tube, I was going to spin it out. And so I I kind of delayed the spin out. I delayed it, so there was a delayed spin out. And oh dear, the boom. Still, for a good-sized group, that was not a bad placement. And considering I had some ad some uh, some bad things go on, these are some of these tracks. They're they're a bit trolly. They're a bit tricky. Tricky trollers. Top five is always possible, as you'll often hear from the legendary Bruffy thirteen twenty two, who is one of the guys I follow. No payola there. <laughs> yeah, he's gone try hard with that Emerus. He's, it's hard to master an Emerus, really. And at this point, that's going to be the last little bit of the racing here. I am going to do one more lap. We're going to do a, another kind of just another little race on our own here. Just so that we can finally get the Phoenix into the play here. Get get Wind Charger out there. and Let's cut to the chase. And I guess I'll just have to take a victory lap around Duel. Because nobody ever wants to race muscle cars. I like racing muscle cars. That's just me. One lap shootout kind of stuff here. I usually take the red side, but I'm honestly not sure which side's faster. And I know there's a side that's faster, but at least that's what I've been led to believe. Of course, it matches the car, so why, why not? It's good enough logic, right? Oops, oops, oops. Phoenix is not your best choice right here. It's not the best handling thing. And this, this course calls for a handling car. The, the Dominator GTX is usually what I like to take on here. Because there's a lot of sections with no guardrails, and what guardrails you have here, are the middle ones which will hang cars up. A lot of times what people will do is they'll take the Duke of Death on here and then it becomes a, uh, a bumper fest basically. It's, we can slam everybody off the, the side of the elevated track. Again, probably a reason why hardly anybody ever races this. It's, just, it's, a, it's a funny old thing. Taking that a little faster, I think. Not using optimal lines here. Just trying to get around. And there we have it. At least we raced. We raced Wind Charger at least once, and that's all the cars. I think we're going to call that good for right now. And, you know, I think. I think I mean, I've been racing with bold choices here for quite some time here, just doing different things. I think the next couple races, maybe I'll go a little bit more hardcore and uh, use the use the actual you know meta cars. But that's um, that's for another time. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.